Hey guys, Rick for Sonus here, back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a future house drop like Robbie East. So, we're gonna be remaking his track another day. That's me released on Future House Music. So, the final result will sound like this. So, we'll be making it from scratch. We got a one shot selected. It's coming with a pack Future Bounce from 3, so you'll find it in the pack. So we're gonna enable the key, the pitch tracking tool. Then we'll be able to play notes with it. Besides that, we're gonna select the one-shot notes. And we're gonna pitch it up one octave. Then we're gonna shape the envelope. It's gonna be a really short one. We're gonna just add some more holds. Decay around 300. And a little bit of sustain and quite a lot of reads. Then we're gonna route it to the filter, we're gonna use the load 24 with a cutoff around here. Then we're gonna route the envelope 1 to the cutoff, add some dry fatness. Then we're gonna add some more oscillators to thicken up the, to thicken up the plug a bit more. So first up is the oscillator A, with amplitude 1 to the left hole, just, just at a really low volume, detune it quite a lot, just to thicken up the sound. Now we're going to select oscillator B, we're going to go for the BSLD square wave, and now we're down one octave. We're going to do the same with the amplitude. Just at a really low volume, so you won't really notice the oscillators, but it really fixing up the sound a bit more. Then we're gonna dive in effects. First up is the down sample distortion. As you can hear, this will add something to the sound. So drive around here. You just have to find a sweet spot, and then we're gonna mix it in. Just around here. Next some hyper dimension with only the dimension part. Next some EQing just to cut off the lows to make room for the bass line. And boost the highs just a little bit. Then we're gonna add some phaser to it. As well give this kind of effect. It's a bit too much so drag down the mix till just around here. Then we're gonna add some chorus with a high pass filter. Sounding like this. So then mix it in. Then we're gonna compress the sound. No OTT this time. So go for a mid high attack. And give the sound back some gain. And then we're gonna add some more reverb and delay to really open up the sounds. Sounding like this. Now we're gonna add some more punch to it, so shape F3. Really short decay time, go to matrix. And select it through master tuning. Just a little bit. Like this. And that's it for the plug, so now we're gonna so now we're gonna make the bass line. So now we're gonna dive in the bass line, sounding like this. So select the preset, go for the saw wave for oscillator A, square for oscillator B. So we're really gonna use the basic shapes of oscillators. Just to get a fake wave, just to get a fake bass line. I'm gonna select the low 24 with the cutoff quite low. I want to want to cut off some drive and fatness. So then we're gonna shape and flow one. Leave to decay like this and learn how to sustain the one here. Then we're gonna add some more release. And shape the shoulder a little bit more like this. 
lower than Oscillator B to octaves. As you can hear, that's what we give the foundation of the sound. And besides that, we're only going to use the Monogato always in Portamento to give some more slides. And that's it for the oscillator. So now we're going to dive into effects. With a little bit of hyper. And some dimension. Now we're going to add a hard clip distortion to it. With envelope 1 to the drive. Some OTT with a gain quite high. Besides, I'm gonna shape L for one. So to a half bar and route to the drive. What this will do is open up the drive when longer notes are played, so for short notes it won't affect it that much, but when you sustain it, the sound will get affected. Then we're gonna add some more cueing. We're gonna route after one to the highest of the baseline, just so we get some more grittiness out of it. Now we're gonna add some more reverb to it, only to the top of the baseline, so put up the low cut quite high. And a mix quite low. Now some chorus effect to it. With a low pass filter. And then to finish it off we're gonna add some filter to it. Same filter as in the filter section. Just a low 24 with a cutoff. An envelope to it. Open it all the way up. And a little bit of drive. And fatness. And right after one to cut off. Just for the same effect as we did for the distortion. And next up for bass lines. We're gonna add a little bit more sustain. So to get over the plug, it's on a guess. And that's it for the how to make future house drop video. So if you like the video, please do like and see more and the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next videos.